of like 5,000 companies. How often should I be calling them? And then do you break it all into like groups of 100 or groups of 1,000? What would I do with a group of like, say, 5,000 companies? Um, yeah. How, yeah. Would I, how would I go about attack, attacking that? Yeah. So think of it as a, uh, a funnel system. So rather than I think, oh, I'm going to call 100, I'm going to finish them, I'm going to call another 100. But think of it as a funnel where you're dumping um, fresh meat, I used to call it, you know, new, new records into a funnel. And then you, through a process of calling, you identify the decision maker. Um, you know, in my books, I talk about what I call the three cycles of three, which essentially is once you've identified the decision maker, that you're going to uh, place uh, three calls, three series of calls, three business days apart. So uh, the first thing you're going to do is once you have the decision maker's name, you're going to make three calls within a very short period of time. You know, in the old days, um, those three calls would be made on the same day, okay, morning, afternoon, and end of day, uh, to try to get a hold of someone. Now you're going to make those calls over a day or two, not over one week, two weeks, or three weeks, but you're going to make three calls in a very quick succession. If you don't get a hold of them, you do not try to leave a message or anything. It's not until the third dial of that sequence that if you do not speak to your decision maker, that you would then leave your voicemail, send an email, and then three business days later start the cycle again. Three calls in a very short period of time, the goal is to interact with the decision maker. If you cannot interact with the decision maker on the first two calls, you're not leaving messages or anything on the third dial. If you don't speak to them, you leave the voicemail, you send the email. Uh, three business days later, you do it one more time. So what happens is over a period of roughly two weeks, somebody that's in your A pool that you consider to be a high probability buyer and that you have identified as a top decision maker uh, within that company is going to, you have received, you've made at least nine dials. And statistically, Ed, um, and this number is going up, you know, it takes a minimum of nine to 12 dials before to, to call a certain person to get them to pick up the phone. So you're sort of on the lower end initially, of how many dials it takes to have a reasonable expectation that someone will pick up the phone. And if you don't, you've left touches. You've left a voicemail and you've left email. So then at the end of the sequence, you have a decision to make. Now, um, if you think that somebody is, for whatever reason, a higher value target, then you can add a fourth sequence or a fifth sequence to the target before you let them go. But this is really, really, really important. Uh, as much as it is important to know who to call and how often to call and have the right messaging, I'm telling you, it's even more important to know when to stop calling and have a sense of the point of diminishing return. So if you think of your funnel system, you're dumping leads in one end of the funnel, Ed. You're working them in accordance with a plan, and then when you reach the point of diminishing returns, you let them go for a period of time. And my default was always six months. So you dump them in the funnel, you work the three cycles of three for roughly two weeks, then you say, okay, I've made enough dials, um, they haven't picked up, they haven't responded, uh, I've reached the point of diminishing returns, I will start my cycle again with them six months down the road. So what you're constantly doing is dumping uh, new records, new high probability records into the funnel, working them, and then pushing them out. And there's obviously layers to that because um, you might make more attempts. There's things that you do in those first two calls um, that would add to your results. So on, on a simplified answer, you dump them in, you work the three cycles of three, and then you push them off. Those that are uh, worth the time, you would try again in six months. Dump them in, work them, point of diminishing returns, get rid of them if they're worthwhile, call them again in six months. Am, am I answering your question there? Yep, yep. That was